Hey there YouTube. It's going to be a pretty short how-to video. Um, we're going to I'm gonna show you a trick I use to put together RC four-wheel drive stamp steel beadlock wheels. Help save a little time and a lot of wear on your fingertips. Uh, these are 1.9s and these are the Gladiator tires. They will be on an upcoming project. Um, yeah. So, let's get started. Alright, so those of you who aren't familiar with how these beadlocks work, um, you've got four main pieces in your hardware. You've got the inner and outer wheel stamp pieces. This is your inner ring. This goes inside the tire. And then you have your hub, which is what bolts to the middle and kind of holds it all together. And then you've got your hardware. Um, so basically, this piece goes inside your tire front and back and it pinches the rubber between the inside and the outside lips and then once you tighten it all down it's a beadlock and you don't get any slip the only problem with that is you've got to compress the rubber to pinch it between there and these the hardware that it comes with are not long enough to do that uh, I know the G made beadlock wheels come with one long bolt and the shorter ones for the actual finish. So you put one long one through to get it started, crank it down, pinch the tire in place, and then you can fit your other bolts in and, and put the nuts on. And that works very well. Um, I did a set of G Maids before, and after two wheels, the the long bolt had already stripped out from just is there so much force on it. So that's when I came up with my own method. So this is what I use. This is a an old uh, Delon type bumper and I've drilled a the hole in the center larger got this long bolt uh, I'm not sure it looks about like a I don't know quarter inch fits through there and have a nut for it and what I do is you put this through your back piece once you've got your tire on it and then you put it through the wheel line up your holes once you have the tire on, put this down on top of it and bolt it down. And then once you tighten that, it will smash the tire in there tighter and you can come through and get two bolts through, one on each side of the uh, hub. And once you have it evenly done like that, it'll all the holes and stuff will line up. You remove this and put the rest of your bolts in pretty simple process um, I'll show you how to do it here on one real quick all right Make sure you can see this here zoom you out a little bit step one you put your inside ring inside your your wheel your tire and your foam you want to bring the edges the bead of the tire in onto it kind of get it centered um, I like to start with the front and just kind of drop it in there and I always pull the edges out a little bit not too far because you don't want it to break the bead but you want that there's a, a lip inside of here you see that hard edge right inside the uh, tire you want that to be where your your rim sits so once you got that to look how you want it make sure it's even all the way around not too much over here Work it back down. And then I'll flip it over and check your your bead on the inside. Make sure it's sitting nice on your inside lip. You don't want it too far in. Uh, the trick is these being six lug, it's a little tricky to line up the holes. You can line up the spokes all day long, but the holes don't always line up. So you've got to kind of eyeball it. See, I just look at one spoke and see where the hole is in relation to it. Uh, it's not centered parallel with any one spoke so I just find whichever one's at the top at the time I'm holding it and do it that way and it's not going to come out perfect but we'll fix that here in a minute now the back one's a little bit more difficult um, sometimes you get the bead pinched in between the back half and then the center half I'm trying to uh, squeeze it in there without pulling it out too far 
There we go. But keeping everything lined up in the process. So, oh, my front came out. That's not good. No problem, no, we'll just kind of walk back around, tuck it back in. You gotta hold it together. Go around the back as well, make sure your bead's set where you want it. Your, your wheel lip is where you need it. And then, make sure you can see what's going on here. <laughs> I'll come back with my hub and line up the bolts, drop my bumper on the front, grab the nut, tighten it down on here, tight as I can by hand, grab my Makita, just kind of hold it on the other side. Don't want to go all the way tight, but you can see it's really pulled the wheel and tire together. And my holes look lined up pretty well. You can see through a couple of them there. So you got to watch where your front is. You can usually only get to one on either side of the, the bar or whatever you choose to use. I just used that bumper. It was on the uh, the frame we used for the Amigo build. It was an Intigy knockoff uh, D90 chassis. And it had been cut down. And it just I just ran across this idea one day. I was trying to do some beadlocks and... It's having hell with it because they're not that fun to do. Um, I got one screw through there. I don't know if the light's going to let you see. Oh. It sticks through enough to get the uh, nut started on there. So I'm going to grab a needle nose, put the nut on there, get my driver lined up on the back, and drop it all on the floor. <laughs> this again this is really difficult to show on camera because it's you know how small all this hardware is drop the nut again and it goes on the floor nope it was on my pants <laughs> all right we'll do this other one real quick gotta hold uh, gotta hold the uh, screw in from the back it's still not a not an easy process up perfect go back to the other side start how oh, these needle nose don't hold very well all right this is it first one I did went through flawlessly of course once you turn the camera on you start dropping everything changes everything all right we got it started I just crank it down until it's pretty tight and then we'll move on to the opposite side we've got one over here we'll do this other side here now if they're not lined up perfectly you can try to drive it through um, once you get on opposing sides lined up like that then it'll straighten itself out if unless it's just way off but if your your halves are just a little off then uh It'll, it'll straighten itself out. And I found with these these type of nuts on here, you don't really... I, I don't have a nut driver that fits it that'll fit down inside the wheel. But if you hold it with your finger, you can get it tight enough to hold. And I've got two in there now. I'm going to go ahead and take the bolt and I'm going to mess off. And there we go. It's almost all the way tight. Now I can just throw the other four in real quick and easy and finish it up. Just the finished product. These are uh, pretty good looking tires. I said they're RC4 drive 1.9 Gladiators. I, uh, I had bought some of the Falcon Wild Peaks and they haven't arrived yet. And I went to a local hobby shop today and they had both. They had these and the Wild Peaks and the Wild Peaks they're not going to fit the scale I need. They're, they're a little bit taller than these. I think these are around 4.5 inch, maybe 4.6. And the Wild Peaks are around 4.8. And they have a real fine all-terrain tread, which would look great if you had, oh, say, like one of the uh, big 1.6 scale bodies. Those Falcon Wild Peaks would be perfect. They'd look awesome scale with the 1.9. Uh, but I think for the, the use I'm going to use them for, 
I needed something a little more aggressive to fit to scale. So I don't know if I'm going to, once they come in, if I'm going to sell them or hang on to them for a later project. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what these are going on yet, but for now, I just wanted to share that little tip with you. It's not anything uh, super special, just they can do with the junk I've got. It's the bolt from a little home hardware kit we got at Walmart. Nut for it. And an old bumper that I had laying around. I already had a hole in the center. I just drilled it out to fit that bolt. But, uh, anyways, thank you all guys for watching. Uh, if this helps you, please like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for more. I've got a lot of videos coming up, a lot of new products, and a lot of updates to all my trucks. Thanks for watching.